Hey friends, uh, today the sensor for which I will be talking about is SHT30. Uh, for more knowledge about this sensor, let's go to controleverything.com and here search for this sensor. So let's see what we got. So SHT30 is a humidity and temperature sensor and these are some of its features which have been lined up. This can be purchased from here, from this very site. For today's video tutorial, I will be closely watching this sensor and interfacing this sensor with a Raspberry Pi and a Python code. So go to resource tab and here is our Python code sampled. Click on this and you can download this code as a zip file from here. You can also have this code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware we require and make some connections for this tutorial. Now in the connections part segment, first of all we require a Raspberry Pi and these are the GPIO pins which you can see on my screen. Now this is an I2C shield. It's really useful in making connections with other I2C devices and rather makes them very easy. Also this is available on our website controleverything.com as you can see. Now gently place the I2C shield over the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi and make this connection. Now our required sensor is SHT30 humidity and temperature. So there is a connecting cable also here. Make the connection among the cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection please make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same thing has to be applied for the I2C shield. Now to power up our Raspberry Pi we need a micro USB cable just like this and insert it over here at this port. Now for an internet connection an ethernet cable is required like this and gently insert it over this port ethernet jack. Now if in case if you don't have an ethernet cable or a LAN cable you can also use this Wi-Fi module or similarly like this to make an internet connection. So overall the connections are fulfilled and let's proceed with the interfacing. Now we have to interface our sensor SHT30 with a Raspberry Pi and a Python code. For that, go to github.com and here search for control everything community, which you can see on my screen. Click on it and here type in SHT30, which is our sensor, and here it go. And this is our Python code. Let's have a look over the instruction first. We have to download and install SMBus library on our Raspberry Pi because we have used it as a building block. And this is the link which will help us to install the SMBus properly. So please have a closure look on this link. After that, we have the command to run our code, Python code. So note it down. Get back to the Python code and here we go. This is our .py extension file and initially we have imported the libraries required and the address of our sensor is 0x44. As you can see, we have sent the measurement command for temperature and humidity, which is 0x. 06 and the address for that register is 0x2c and the writing command is here. Now we have read 6 bytes of data as you can see for humidity and temperature and the data read is here in the form of read i2c block data. Now we can see the conversion for humidity and temperature as you can see using the formulas derived from the data sheet for SHT30. At the very end of our code we have our output data displayed on the screen that is in the form of relative humidity in percentage RH including temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how our Python code works for this sensor. Let's see how it works on the monitor. For the working environment for this sensor, let's copy this entire Python code and go to the terminal. Here create a file with this name and dot by extension paste the entire code and save it. This is the command for this sensor and here we go. We have relative humidity and temperature as you can see. Now when I press my finger over the sensor and run the command, there is a change in relative humidity along with the temperature. Now again pressing my finger and running the command, the relative humidity and temperature changes. So this is how our sensor works with the Python code. Now let's proceed further and see what are the features and the application for this sensor. 
We have just seen the working of humidity and temperature sensor SHT30. This sensor is fully calibrated, linearized and temperature compensated digital output sensor. This sensor has a new CMOS sensor sensor chip which has increased intelligence, reliability and improved accuracy specifications. These are the features by which it can be applicable for consumer electronics, wearables and mobile market. You can buy this sensor from our website that is controleverything.com and the python code is available on the same site. You can have also the python code from our github repository which is control everything community. For any queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and please you can post your comments on our community page. For blogs, articles and other things relevant to these you can reach us on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials please go to our YouTube channel page. Now in the end you have a good day and thanks for watching.